Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to learn about time intelligence functions in tax. Please like, comment and subscribe my channel. Okay, let's go. A very common term is used in tax whenever we are building any data model that is time intelligence. And it is not only combined and organized data into periods of time, but also to understand how each period relates to any other groupings sequentially. And according to the Microsoft document, you can find out there are 35 time intelligence functions in tax. Okay. But before time intelligence functions implementation, we need to have one date table okay and that date table should follow some rules okay a date column with date time and data type unique values for date column no missing values or blanks and the date column should cover full years okay now we are going to power bi desktop now we are in power bi desktop so I have imported this US Superstore data and also I have created one date table with all the required columns. Okay. So at first we will calculate year to date, month to date, quarter to date functions. Okay. So there are two different approaches to calculate these YTD functions. Okay. One is with calculate function. So this is our sales amount ytd that means year to date where i use calculate function and this total sales total sales is nothing but sum of my sales value already i have created this measure in this code okay now here i can use days ytd function so this is my time intelligence function so this is for ytd it's simple if you are going for qtd only replace this dates qtd function for MTD, only replace this MTD, M. So this is with the calculate function. But without calculate function, we can also define this YTD, QTD and MTD. So we have to use total YTD functions where also we are using total cells and date field. Let me show you QTD cells. It has also total QTD and this is our MTD cells total MTD okay so using all those uh, various measures I have already created two reports to validate our data now we have already came to know about this year to date functions month to date function or quarter to date function now it's time to compute time periods calculation with the comparing with the previous periods so first we are uh, creating previous year cells okay for that we are using this same period last year function okay so this is a only simple one function but this is not generic because using this function we cannot use quarter or month something like that then how will you calculate there are different options also now this is another approach to calculate previous year cells okay where we are using calculate function within that our total sales value and date add functions where what all the fields we need first the date field minus one is nothing but the previous uh, positioning the previous year and this year value now if i'm going to calculate previous quarter just replace the year value with quarter other parameters will be same now previous month just replace with month previous date just replace with date okay so now my previous calculation is fine but there is another function that is parallel period it returns the full period data instead of partial period data just like date add okay let me show you that function so first is our py total cells okay that means the previous year total cells i have used this parallel period and the similar to this date add function only year is there now previous quarter uh, function so for that 
just replacing year with water now this is for previous month where also i'm replacing with month so where we cannot replace with day because day field is not available let me go to the next step for this type of reports we need to calculate all those variables total sales is already available to me previous year sales is also available i need to calculate this year on year sales how i have calculated that one so this is my year on year sales first i have used the variables sales previous year sales and year on year sales so not is blank that means it should not be blank and not is blank this one also then it will um, find out the difference the previous the current year sales minus previous year sales and returning the difference so similarly for that i have used a percentage value that is a this value divided by the previous year sales so our yoy sales is there now i want to calculate ytd sales ytd sales i have already there now i need previous years ytd sales how i have done that let me show you the formula so this is our previous year ytd sales formula where i have used calculate function and this ytd and same period last year function i have used here okay and i have calculated this previous year ytd sales now now how will i calculate this year on year ytd sales for that i have declared all these variables where i have ytd sales previous year ytd sales and the same formula like this and returning this variable similarly for that i am calculating this percentage value that is a year on year ytd sales and divided by the previous year ytd sales so all my measures are ready now we can prepare this report there is another calculation we can done that is moving annual total what does it mean by this moving annual total it aggregates the data over the 12 months period okay and and this is also maa moving annual average so it's taking the average value so how i have calculated this this is a max sales calculation uh, here we have used this days between next day same period last year last date function and providing the result this maa sales function the similar way but here we have used this divide function and total sales and distinct count of this year month and doing this calculation so we can use this calculation for any type of report where you need to provide this annual moving total or annual moving average data you have to show i hope you like this uh, tutorial please comment and subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching